Hello. Gotta let magic online load real quick here. Hmm. It's so slow. All right, here we go. Is that, oh, is there, is there a way I could... We yeah, just have to make this smaller. Not very easy to see on the stream, is it? Uh, I'm not changing my list though. Still doing two therapy, two muxes. This kind of bunch of two ofs and some one ofs in the sideboard. Mostly anti combo type stuff. With a little bit of fair matchup uh, utility. Let's jump into a league. Won the die roll, and this hand, we can't cast anything till turn three. It's somewhat okay against Depth's combo or Reanimator and pretty much nothing else. Uh, I think on the play I want to find a Lackey or a Vile. I think, well, in most cases I want to find a Lackey or a Vile, but... Uh, this is only good against like a Miracles style slow control deck I feel like maybe maybe we our opponent mulliganed as well well let's be greedy let's go to five wow didn't work out, did it? Um, put back Ringleader and another Wastelands. We may never cast a card to spell. Probably should have kept on those other hands. Burn. It's not good. We really need a red source. Not a red source. Alright, we'll port you. I'm already thinking about my sideboard. So we're not winning this game. Um. Pyrokinesis is good in this matchup, so it's Chalice of the Void. Um, let's see. I don't think either of those two opening hands would have been good enough against Burn anyways. We had to... We had to go down more. And hope not to. Oh god. 
Well, I'm not casting any spells. I don't know what you think, Mr. Opponent. Did I miss porting? I feel like maybe I did. Oh no, this is a two drop. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Four. Five, six, go to four. And I can only cast two spells. No, I can only cast one spell. We have to go land to land, one of them being a black source. Uh, with Lackey being our, our first play. Why are they not doing this? Yeah. Have to draw two lands in a row. Lackey puts us down to two and hope they have nothing and just hit us for one. Then we attack put Sling Gang into play, I guess. Oh, wait, what? Oh, they just had the other card. Okay. Okay. I uh, misinterpreted the little symbols on Modo. I forgot that the other Fire Blast was exiled, not in their hand. So we got our Pyrokinesis. And our Chalices. Can cut a Wasteland. And... I played this matchup the other day. I really need to write down what I do with my sideboard. and Vile. Hope they don't have Smash to Smithereens.
Hmm. Might be able to cast that at some point. But for now, just attack with our 1 1. Could cast Muxus next turn. Um, but I might want to use Crater Maker maybe like on an Eidolon to Revels if they play both Pillar and Eidolon. Probably just do Muxus next turn. I think I want to leave my vial on three. Well, if we hit a matron, vialing in a sling gang would be great. See what they do if they do anything. Bunch of lands. So hand only one drops, or maybe like fire blasts and stuff. Three or four. Maybe I do go to four on this. I'm a genius. Alright, um... We can just Matron now for Sling Gang. And delay Muxus a turn. Take our two. Opponent does not want to play against the Sling Gang. Good. All right. Evened up the score. We just gotta get another win. Oh man, that game one was terrible. Mold the five and no red sources. Proceeded to not draw any for the whole game. Vile. They may be after what happened last. They mulliganed. What after after what happened last game? They're probably looking for a smash to smithereens. Um, but I do like having two basics and some good blocker here. It'd be really rough if they open swift spear into smash the smithereens. I think we can try this. Because if they don't have it, we've got stuff to do for a while. Good blocker. Blockers. We can mage in for sling gang. I might get a land here. Okay. Got a land. 
hand. Rather than just drawing it. Need to get this into play quickly. This is bad. This is really bad. Down to two cards. Oh, we're hitting. Hitting all the free lands. That's a good card to see. We just need to live long enough to play it. So we will be chump blocking. Still have eight cards in hand. Goodness. I guess we dropped this Caracas. Yeah, what colors are we playing? 10 cards? And 11 life? Are we playing... Do we just activate Grizzlebrand? Is that what's happening over here? Really love to have drawn a Pyrokinesis. That would have been the best possible draw. Unfortunately, we can't double block here. We can't afford to go any lower. Matron's going to be our next draw. So having two matrons is actually really good here. We're probably... Um, no, it can't be matron jump on. Matron expert? Oh, never mind. It's pretty rough. Uh, it is really rough. Uh, so we have the slinging in hand. So I think it's... So Wasteland, next turn we're going shields down against Price of Progress anyways. Um, because we're casting Sling Gang as soon as we can. Um, so we may as well make this price for the, for the turns that we're not protected against it. Less painful than it needs to be. Go Mountain this turn, Cavern next turn, Castling Gang, and then Wasteland the following turn. Um, Chain Whirler is a fine blocker. Have to hope to live. They could easily just untap and kill us. Oh. Ooh, double O. So we sling this turn and then chalice on two the following turn. Is two drops the scariest thing? Or are one drops the scariest thing?
Alright, well we've got you in play. Maybe next turn it's... Um, God. Why is this in your deck, though? Why is this card even in your deck? Do you not have burn spells? We're gonna gain more than just the one life, though. Probably gain three life here. It might be... So it's either Chalice on 2, pass, uh, hold Wasteland up. No, but then, yeah, Chalice on 2 could be fine, or um, Matron, Chalice on 1, and then Matron for sling, another Sling Gang. to see what my life total is when it gets back to our turn if it gets back to our turn thinking about something. I don't know what they're thinking about. You've got two cards in your hand, you're playing in burn. Not attacking. Rift Bolt, Suspend. I think that means Chain Whirler is going to die next turn. Which is better than us taking three to the face. Um, I'm worried that going Chalice on one would just open us up to a smash to smithereens. I could go matron gem palm. We're vulnerable to a price of progress. Maybe I just go chalice on two and then next turn We really should have another blocker for these goblin guides. What if it's just matron gem palm right now? No. Oh my god, this is tough. Matron sling gang chalice on one. That's probably the best thing we can do. If we take four, five, six, seven from a price plus a rift bolt. We just died a fire blast, but we're protected from one drops. Fire blast orb. Huh. Yeah, we'll do this.
There's, I mean, whatever we pick, they might have different stuff to kill us, so we just have to get lucky. And I think going for another sling as fast as possible gives us the best shot at stabilizing. Um, get this extra blocker, we turn off half their deck with the chalice. Okay, it's better for that to happen than for it to go to our face. Some lands. And Pashalik. Interesting. Okay, so swing gang four, and then we have up to two mana left to use. We might want to just hold up a wasteland. Gain two life. I want to see if there's any way to play around. What the best way to play around Price of Progress could be. Like this. We can't cast anything else anyways. What's this guy doing with dead gons? All of your regular burn spells will kill my goblins. Why'd you bring dead gun in? Give me those lands. Maybe Matron Mogwar Marshal. I just want to gain so much life that we make it impossible for them to win. So one, two, three. I think it's Matron Mogwar Marshal. Or Matron Gem Palm? Yeah, I leave up both wastes. I still agree with that.
Hello, just this and that. What's going on? We're in game three against Burn, trying our best not to die. We're doing pretty well at the moment. I think we're gonna jump block one more turn. Expert next uh, turn would be great. I think we go Expert plus Ashalik next turn, leave up double waste still, and then we probably can't lose from there unless they play like a Sulfuric Vortex. But even then we're still doing really well. No vortex. Okay. Now we just kind of have it pretty much locked down. Volcanic Fallout. The four Muxus list, it's, I think it's cool. It's like a fun build, um, but it's way too all in for my taste. Uh, it's, that build is really fragile. Yeah, these are is a very strange sideboard card choices. So pass if he wants to play a non one drop creature, he may. We'll put an expert, I think, no matter what. We're not really afraid of an Eidolon, um, since we've got these four drops here and enough wastelands to protect us from Price of progress. And with Pashalik, I think we want to be activating his ability and just making more goblins, probably. know if we really want to um I think actually since it says haste we'll go ahead and do this we could go all in we could cast another ringleader and kill him this turn but we're in such a good spot that Maybe don't care. Crater Maker. 
We play Crater Maker and then we'd be taking at most 2 damage off of Price of Progress. Um, don't need to do it pre-combat. Actually, can we kill him right now? If I crater maker my expert, he just dies, right? Yeah, we're bombarding him. Although with the way they're sideboarding, I wouldn't be shocked to see some kind of life gain card. We did it! I came back from that abysmal first game to win the match. Lost a die roll, no. Unkeepable hand, no. It's all these crusty openers today. Crusty, dusty opening hands. Hold it, Mulligan, that's good. Oh, the Zero Lander, nice. Put back a fetch and War Chief. Yeah, we had a similar seven uh, in the first game of the first match, and I was like, well, if he's on depths, this is kind of an okay hand, but it doesn't really do much else. Um, but I don't. Oh, uh oh. I don't feel great about those kinds of hands. What is he doing? Green. Uh-oh, we're getting belched on. Well, 
sorry if you came here to watch someone play magic. We're not doing that this round. Oh wow, fair card! Very cool. It's Cupable 7. Thanks for unmulliganing me. I hope you brick. I hope you brick. Yeah, 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 I get dunked on. What's your plan now? No. Okay. Um... Put in matron. Let me see. Is there a way I can blow that up? We put in matron. Cast skirk. Sacrifice. Matron plus use our second land to cast. Crater maker. Sacrifice skirk to activate crater maker, and then next turn. Can maybe Matron Muxus. Chain Whirler? We have a second Matron for that. I, so I'm worried about sacrificing this. Um, what happens if I go put Bog War Marshal into play, cast Skirk, sack three, cast Matron. One, two, for no, that's still. Wait. I'm really bad at envisioning <laughs> plays and, and keeping track of how much mana I would have. I put tap for Skirk, Matron, so I have Matron, Skirk, Lackey, one open land. Sack, Matron. And use this to cast Crater Maker. No, then we still have to sacrifice Skirk to activate it. Yeah, unless we want to lose our Lackey, which is probably not a great idea. Um, If we knew we were drawing a land next turn, I would not be thinking so hard about this. Let me just ringleader, try to get lucky, and then next turn we'll have Skirk, Mogwar Marshal. Okay, um to uh to go matron whatever we want go one two may as well play this
We have the mana to play Chain Whirler if they do make a bunch of goblins. I hope this one pet letting this pedal live didn't make a difference. So far it doesn't look like it has. Um They're going for echo again. Well nothing we matron for would have been relevant, I think. Hey, we still got our matron and a land, so that's actually kind of better. But we're at storm eight. Is that a mismatch? Oh, come on, dude. Come on. At least have some self respect. The wrong pedal. He's really storming, though. Yeah, I think we can vile this guy in. It's great. I feel like we're probably not gonna live to see next turn, but uh, who knows? Yeah, empty would be great here. God. Why? Also, why did it take him that long to think of that? What the heck, opponent? And the pedal literally didn't matter. I don't think there's anything we could do. I'm at negative 71. <sighs> that was cool. Thanks, opponent. Thanks for taking that long to find that line. I guess Red Blast is good against the Echo Belcher, right? Trash Man, maybe? Why not? Cut some slow cards. Uh, maybe not Wasteland. Whoops. I don't think Caracas is relevant. Um, Pyro's okay against empty. Cage is fine against Echo. Surgical is not great against Echo, but it is kind of good just in general. Right? I mean, there's some stuff we can mess with, especially with therapy. I think Relic is too mana intensive to be that useful. Well, 
Well, that's not a keepable hand. This, um, you blast something. Surgical something. Lane that we don't have a second red source. Singleton Ancient Tomb. Oh, I think Ancient Tombs may be a bit better suited for the Greedier builds. I don't like what it does to our life total, and we already have a lot of colorless producing man lands, anyways. Wish two spirit guides, two zero drops, right of flame, echo. First hand would have been okay only if we just went Badlands Pass because of this Echo, and that's what I was worried of. If we have to decide between just playing nothing for a while, holding up Red Blast, oh, they have the Burning Wish. Always cast Burning Wish and keep around Rite of Flame plus Spirit Guide and then their land for another turn. That's three. I don't know. I mean, yeah, Black Source would be great. Probably get rid of that Burning Wish. Some riveting magic. Yeah, probably, probably right.
Our hands have been really bad though. It kind of sucks. We didn't see our mind break trap at all. They have to be double queuing, maybe. Oh, we have activity. Wish now. Need to draw like a red blast or something. Uh, shattering spree, okay. That's a very good draw. Guess we're just passing. They're going to try to echo and then we blow it up. With our Skirk technique. Skirk no jutsu. They can blow up Chalice, Ghost, Spirit Guide, Rite of Flame, Lotus Petal, LED, Other Spirit Guide, tons of mana, cast Echo, I play my thing, you're down to zero cards, and then we have some space to breathe. they're not I hope they're not stream sniping they either are distracted by something that's not this match or they're sweating because they see this in my hand on my stream because there's no way you think about this in this situation right I mean you're playing Belcher you just barf out all your cards cast your echo and get lucky He was just kidding. Oh, the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Drew a land grant. <laughs> League farming with a Belcher bot or Twitch plays Belcher. How would that go? All right, not a land. That's nice. And deploy the boy pass now we have a clock and we can cast therapy wonder what they would have drawn 
I guess we maybe we wait one turn because um, they're probably not going off with just like two cards in hand, right? That deck can't do that, can they? Maybe wait a turn and see what's up. And then cast our therapy. Kind of want to name Goblin Charbelcher. Oh, now this is interesting. Wasteland. Could blow up their Taiga. Maybe Burning Wish. They've already used one Burning Wish. Uh, what else is scary though? I think Goblin Charbelcher is the scariest if they find seven mana in one turn, which maybe that's not super likely. Empty. Well, they have Matron. And then we need one more red source for it to... Maybe just like a... A ritual. Oh, there's the Belcher. And they have a Crow Mox as well. Oh wait, that's not that's not what I wanted. That's why I don't like using the shortcut this because it brings it up right away. All right. Okay, so they have hardly any mana. Um, we'll go ahead and attack. I think they can have at most like four mana next turn. And, oh wait a second. Five mana next turn? They go right of flame for three. No, because then they don't have the chrome box for. I think we let this go for a turn. We go matron and get rid of their um Belcher. It's a good clock by itself that we can cast right now. I mean right now I mean next turn. Um, could just get lackey and hope to draw something that leaves up our crater maker on subsequent turns. Try Lackey, right? Probably be cycling this gem palm. to not draw a LED. If 
find surgical. We'd be surgicaling this LED, I believe. Chrome box. Land grant. Um, alright. See here. Play Lackey. I wasteland him. See, all he needs to get going is just an LED. Maybe a gem palm now, um, leaving up my badlands. What's in his hand? Just the echo. So, uh, cabal therapy is not actually useful at the moment. But we could draw a needle. Yeah, just cycle for blaster needle. That's what I think. Two. Prospector. I guess we play it. He might cycle us into a mind break trap. Um, or. Needle for Belcher. So I guess is what I th was thinking. If they do an echo play and end up going with Belcher. Gamble! Oh, that's pretty good! Hello, Oleg. Gamble's pretty good and I didn't know they played Gamble. Oh! Uh-oh. You gambled and lost. That was a 50-50. We're getting there. And now he has one less Lion's Eye Diamond to draw into. I like to think that LED was on top of his deck. Oh, can we even lose now? It was all one game, goodness. Alright. Uh, I guess we're trying to do the same thing, except now we're on the draw. Maybe we should have pyrokinesis just in case. bit awkward, but uh, it's Belcher, so... Well, there's a Mind Break Trap. We are on the draw. We draw a red source. This hand's not so bad. What creatures might he play? Uh, he makes a bunch of goblin tokens with Empty the Warrens. Yeah, we'll keep this because of the mind break trap. If we didn't have that, we'd 
probably have to ship it back. Even though this is great to have, uh, and the lackeys and matron is great, we just don't have a red source, which is super awkward. One spell, two spells, hold the one mind break trap, I like it. Gotta do it now, opponent! Okay. Probably surgical that LED on their draw step. What would you like to cast with your 5 mana? Actually, maybe we don't surgical LED. <laughs> you scooped. I was doing nothing, opponent. All right. Play match. Hello, Newton. Uh oh, and we lost the die roll. New. A sideboard. Um, looks like this. with the free spells, Watsy. You need to stop printing those. God. What the heck? This is too much. I guess we port their cradle. Attacking doesn't really even get us anywhere. Great. A gross start. No.
So many cards. Would make a heritage druid. Yeah. Huh, I think we're dead. Hate that this card exists. Guess I have to wasteland this. Probably found another one. Well, he's got this. He has to wait a whole turn before he can grab another cradle. I just, I mean, ideally we figure out a way to play a chain roller, but I don't think it's possible next turn. And if we didn't port them, then this might have been even worse. Yeah. A lot of elves you got there. What if we had a main board perish? See, this one's two-sided, but Karn is one-sided. I find that really upsetting. What? How many blockers do you think I'm able of clearing? Capable of clearing? I mean, we waste cradle. And then die anyways. This sounds like a good plan. I'm not gonna port the Dryad Arbor out. Um, maybe I do. Yeah, maybe I do. I, I, I we're dead though. We're just really dead. Probably has another cradle, yeah. Okay, we're done. We're done here. Uh, Chalice is fine. It's not as good as it used to be. Hierokinesis is great. Um, Needle's pretty good. Cage is good. Rainbreak Trap can be fine, but it's not amazing. rarely gets through but I think it still has enough upside and but like we could we have so much turn two removal potential that I feel like we still keep them in on the draw on the play um, we can just like shave some stuff here and there Yeah, Vile, especially because they have Collector. Thanks, deck. So many hands today have just been no red source, completely unplayable. 
Like if any one of these cards was a mountain instead, we would keep this. It's just unplayable. All right. Um, this only really works if they start with Dryad Arbor. If a Crater Maker turn three at the earliest, if they have a just even the slightly decent blocker, like anything other than Dryad Arbor. Mm. Could try to mull into a better hand, but what are the odds of that actually happening? I mean, we can port them for... I'll try it. I'll just try it. That's not good, though. Oh, okay. It's a good draw though. So we port here and then next turn crater maker. Crater Maker. Will we build up our board a little? We're definitely killing this. I think we have to kill this. Can we offer the trade here? I think we do. blow up his Korean Ranger and if he doesn't bounce his value we'll blow that up too. He still has a ton of cards in hand. Oh my god. What? Chain Whirler. We just get another 
crater. Get a Hashaluk. Could get Gem Palm. Could get Ringleader, but then that's kind of slow. We need to keep their elf count down as fast as we can, right? Maybe it's just Gem Palm. Yeah. I'm not pleased about it, but... Opponents had really good draws, it seems. Oh god. No, are you serious? Monkey. All right. How do we win now? Not like that. Ridiculous. Just had it. Oh my god. Oh my god. They just had everything. They had every single thing they needed. And we had what? Two removal spells. Three, I guess. Three single target removal spells. What the heck? Why does it ignore my clicks all the time? Alright, that was dumb. On a die roll, yeah. Oh my god! Why? Why? What the heck? Haven't I had enough of these? Jesus. I guess we keep this. back maybe one of the therapies like double therapy could be really good though it's probably just smartest to do that We'll be greedy with our lands, since, uh... 
be one thing going wrong, probably over anyways. Yeah, the, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I just don't think we can justify not having any removal, or I mean like putting back Glacky, I guess is the other. What the heck? <sighs> what am I looking at? Is it just ants? Baleful Strix? Are we dead next turn? I hope not. Um, they have... So we could flash back and take something. When it says goblins should not be allowed to play those cards. Yeah, um, they go Petal, Ritual, Vista, they have access to 5 mana. Most likely they'll just go Baleful Strix though, right? We have Expert to clear the way if Lackey finds anything interesting. But if they find another Ritual... We throw our lackey away, what are we even doing on the following turns? Just some one ones while they uh, I think we try to survive a turn. Hope they go, um, Strix. They drew the ritual. Wow! Oh my god. What the heck? Why? What is what is with my luck today? How do they do this? How do they always do this? He knew the rituals on top. Jesus. Oh, okay. Jeez. I was like, did he screw up? No, he just had it. A... Alright, it didn't matter. It did not matter. Chalice. Find a rake trap. Surgical. I guess blast? I don't know. Do they flash anything back? Is cage good? Echo? Are they playing Echo? I 
Actually, Expert's not too bad if they're playing Strix, right? Chalice one or zero. They probably have um, whatever that bounce spell is, Chain of Vapor. We could get super punished not playing it here. Put it on one. If they have I don't I don't know what they're playing. I don't know if I've seen this variant of storm before. We we didn't see much. Just a ton of black spells. And a baleful strix. Yeah, they are. Oh god. Alright. Seen a lot of combo today. Is that three combo decks in a row? Does burn count as combo? That would be all four matches combo. is not combo. What do you mean burn is not combo? You combine seven burn spells, six or seven burn spells, and they die. God, why? Why? This is why I wanted to put Chalice on one, because I know they more likely they discard cards, but
What the? F must be nice, opponent. It must be nice. He only played a single cantrip, and his hand was two discard spells and all this. Jesus. Played my chalice. You can't do something with your twenty three cards. I don't know what to tell you. I could see the argument for not hitting preordain. I just they're drawing what like twenty cards, so I don't know. If it really makes a difference. I also don't know why they're sitting here for this long. Like he, he, what the heck? Guess they bricked somehow. Good job on Five damage and wasteland them. Rip not having pile driver. Yeah. The one time, I think like the one time in the past five or six leagues where it was actually relevant. Be able to use a fetch land though. They played a land. I think that underground was played that seat that um, turn. So this is their fourth turn now. Yes, dig.
can you do it? Can you do it looking at your 10 cards? Probably. Oh. Maybe not. Let's see. Did not shuffle. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Matron would win. See, I think a lot of different cards would win here. That's not one of them. Oh, did they not play Lion's Eye Diamond? I wasn't paying attention. I feel like you'd have to play that card though, right? you have another tendrils in your hand? Oh my god. What the heck? One turn earlier we would have killed him. One to then put him to five and then attack for five. Oh, that was a dumb game. We had him so close and he just drew all the stuff he needed. What a weird storm build. Oh look, another one of these no red source hands. Jesus.
What well, deck plays Hierarch and Bayou? It's a weird loam deck. I think maybe we just kill the Hierarch, right? Main deck engineer, no. It's not what I want to hear. What the heck? Oh my god. Natural order. That's what I thought. Yeah, no casting spells. No, what? You cheated. All right. Um, Archon of Valor's Reach. One, two, three, four, five. And if he draws a land, he can cast it. That's not good. We port again. Just play Sling Gang and hope to race the Archon. No, opponent has wall hacks. Wow, right, you're so good at magic. Five, six. Oh my god, they have wall hacks confirmed. The heck?
I'd like to draw a card with text on it. Oh, it's not having any trouble doing it. Yeah, Muxus would be great. Really wants to play as Teferi. Really? Really? We're dead. Oh, yeah, we're... If you have... Yeah, we're just dead. Uh... Maybe Pyrokinesis? Stupid natural order deck. They were playing a lot of green suns in natural order. So, guess cage. Needle. For night and fairy. Maybe thespian stage if they play that. the heck there's always no red source hands I don't understand how we can get this unlucky all right
good hand. Wish we didn't have to mulligan to get to it, but I guess we're not allowed to have a good seven today. Oh my god. The one the literal one card in their deck that would have made this hand not not good. Jesus. <sighs> Today is not our day. We won one match. Two Actually, we won both of our matches just because our combo opponents are just breaking. Now that we have a semi-fair matchup. Really? You're not even gonna do me with a plague engineer? You have to go enchantment mode on me? I have this unplayable card in my hand. This does stone nothing unless I get Patchlick into play. Freaking engineered plague. I didn't know people still played that card. Except maybe Enchantress, but no one plays that deck. Yeah. Natural order me. Oh. I mean, I could, I could kill it. I could kill it. All right on time. Right on time. Um, brick. Expert this for one, and then pyrokinesis it, pit, pitching lackey, then cast cage. I mean, I guess so. Three for one. Now what do I do? Oh yeah, of course you run that card. At least you can't bring it back. Cage is kind of good against this deck, right? Okay, that's a good card.
What? You top deck that? What the heck? What's it like, opponent? What is it like? I think Uhun win now. Um, Matron Pashalik. Just ringleader and then see what we get and then matron. It's freaking ridiculous. Bad I didn't bring in Trash Man. Sting Scourger's not in the build. That's usually not very good. And it wouldn't even be good here, like bouncing Uro, then what? I'll just play it. Keep playing it. Because you can't punish that card. Literally not possible. Um yeah, let me just passionately try to start. Hitting him with uh, Pashalik triggers. I don't really have any other game plan. Not having Sting Scourger is not bad. It's really not a good card. It's situationally decent. But in a format full of Uros and Okos, it just does nothing. They're gonna gain three life forever, even if we do have Sting Scourger. If you, they they have no trouble casting it again. And they'll flat, then they'll uh, exhume it again or whatever it's called, escape it again. We're delaying them by one turn if we do that. The heck? Thrun? Really? Okay. Okay. Thrun. Well, yeah, it's hard to see how we beat him right when he casts the Engineered Plague. Um, I promise you, I 1 million percent promise you, Sting Scourger would not make a difference. What the? F you have three of these? You found three of these? Alright. Now we actually can't win. Um... Because Pashalik was our only hope. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I gotta wrap it up here. Let's get going. Play D and D. Um, let me find someone to host. Anyone playing goblins? Yes. Alright, we're gonna go raid Legacy Goblins. Um, thanks everyone for coming out and watching the stream. We'll be back on Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern. See you next time.